Hey, what's going on YouTube? B Dot back with another quick video. All right, guys, just hanging around the house, just waiting on our van to pull up to drop this furniture off. And today I wanted to do a quick beard maintenance. I've been noticing lately with my beard, I've been getting a lot of growth and uh, it's getting a little bit out of control right now. So I wanted to go ahead and trim some of it up, clean it up a little bit today. Now, I normally don't like to trim a lot of hair off my beard. Um, lately, I've been doing a lot of brushing it after I get out the shower and put my oil and balm in. I brush it with my boss man beard brush and I lay it all down. It's a lot neater and, uh, and more controllable throughout the day. But when I do decide to pick it out or comb it out, I notice my beard, I get a lot of growth on my chin and uh, my sides grow pretty good, but I notice I get this little dent on my sides. I'm sure a lot of you guys have that same issue where like right here on the sides, it dents in. And then my chin part of my beard actually grows out really far. And underneath, I get good growth, but it doesn't grow as fast as the chin part grows, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna pick it out right now. My beard is actually dry. I don't really like to pick my beard out dry, but when I'm trimming it down, I don't wanna have it really wet or oily because the hairs really don't stand up the way I want them to stand up when it's wet. So I'm gonna pick it out. As you guys can see that growth on the chin part, the sides also stick out, but not as much as the chin. And instead of just keeping on trimming my chin down, my sides are never gonna grow that fast. All right, so I'm gonna grab my Andes Masters and I'm gonna put the lever all the way down. And also, if you're a little bit nervous of using straight clippers with no guard on them, I wouldn't advise you to do this. Uh, either go to the barber or put a guard on here just to help you out a little bit better. But I've been doing it for a minute, so I got a good idea of how I want my beard to look and how to hold the clippers. And really, I'm just knocking off a lot of the flyaway hairs. Let's go straight down. Not really digging into it at all. I don't want to knock too much length off at all. Now, I don't know why my beard does that. As far as the um, size dipping in the way it does, I've tried to pick it out, comb it out, brush it out. And every time I'm done with that, I still have that poof in my chin and the side sunk in. So as we all know, everybody's beard is different and that's just something that I have to deal with and pretty much get used to that. Now maybe as my beard grows, it would all catch up. Now I'm sure it's not really noticeable to a lot of people, but it's my beard and I see it. I just actually lined up my beard last night in my neck area. I think it's almost damn near one o'clock. Hopefully they pull up here in a minute. The whole goal of this is just to knock off some of the flyaway hairs. All 
All right, guys, sorry about that. Our van finally got here. Went ahead and hooked your boy up real quick, set everything up. So while they were here, I went ahead and finished uh, shaping up my beard, as you guys can see. Uh, I pretty much knocked all the loose hairs off. You know, nothing too major. Just wanted to clean it up a little bit because it's been a while since I've done anything to my beard as far as maintenance work to it. I've just been lining up my cheek line, lining up my neck line as usual, and uh, fading up my sides here and there. As you guys can see, I still need to fade up the sides. I'm going to probably go ahead and knock that out later. As always, I want to thank you guys for checking me out today. And thanks for all the support. And continue to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. And I'll holler back. Peace.